I've been knitting and crocheting for about two years now, so I've been able to create an array of different pieces along the way. And so I thought it would be cool to do a little outfit video where I show you how I style these pieces. I've done one in the past, but that one was pretty impulsive and I didn't really show that many pieces. There's an array of different styles that I've put together for you, so I hope you enjoy at least one outfit. But with that said, let's go ahead and get started. The pieces I'll be making outfits with first are tops. The first top is actually my purple baby doll dress I made for my purple crochet video. Because this dress is unique on its own, I decided to only style it with pieces that would complement the colors like this black and white cardigan and my star bag with the same color scheme. I also styled it with this maxi cardigan which when paired with this dress gives off cute witchy vibes but only if it's buttoned. The silhouette it gives off when buttoned reminds me of the Victorian dresses from back in the day. I also want to say that the majority of the pieces I'm using to to style my crochet and knit pieces with I've either had for years or I got from Depop or thrifted them but if there's any pieces that are still available I'll link them in the description box below now you see these jeans I, I want you to stay with me here I think this is actually really cute I think it would work more if there was only one layer on the dress and here's an example of what I mean but just imagine it with less poof since I did push the second layer underneath the first one even with that said I'd still wear the jeans with the dress how it is normally I kept the flare jeans and switched to the second piece of this category, which is my central fall knit sweater. It's great on its own, but in the case it gets a bit more chilly, I also paired it with my oversized denim jacket and my platform Uggs, which makes a chill, nice fall outfit to wear anywhere whether you're going to school, to a pumpkin patch, or the movies. To add more fall color to the outfit, I switched the jacket for this orange bomber jacket I've had for ages now. I got it from YesStyle I think in 2017. It's been one of my favorite jackets since and it works perfectly with this sweater. The flare jeans I thrifted, but the tag says free people and I was honestly shocked because free people clothing is so expensive expensive and these are only eight dollars another chill outfit with this sweater is pairing it with cargos and converse which makes it an incredibly relaxed fit and i'll take any excuse to wear my cargos since these feel so airy and light Keeping the cargoes, I switched to my next piece, which is another piece I made with the Centro machine. This is one of my favorite pieces and I'm always wearing it when possible. Of course, if it's chilly outside, throwing on my denim jacket works perfectly with the outfit. To make the top look more chic, I switched the pants to one of my favorite pairs from Ragged Priest and my black boots from Koi Footwear. For an added layer, I also threw on my faux leather coat, which I think I got from Princess Polly a couple years ago, but I can't remember too well. I wanted to add a more pastel color into the mix, so this time I'm styling my purple cardigan I made in my spring crochet video from this year. I paired it with this jumper I thrifted in my favorite boots. This is a nice casual fit for a more warm fall day and for the days where I want some more light colors in my outfit, even if the outfit is still pretty dark. The next piece is my argyle sweater vest I just made for my brown crochet video. I wanted to experiment a bit so I paired it with my mustard yellow plaid skirt and my frilly button up top that I paired it with in that video. I wish you could see my shoes a bit better in the video but I also paired it with some Doc Martens. I like pairing this vest with this specific shirt because it brings more texture to the outfit and stands out more than just a regular button up shirt. I'm definitely going to invest in other button ups in different colors and styles because I love layering them under the millions of vests I own and will continue to make. For days where I don't want to wear a skirt or if it's cooler out, I paired the same top with my black flare pants and the same Doc Martens. I'm a darker color type of gal with splashes of colors here and there, so I always tend to prefer outfits like these. The same exact outfit can be done without the button-up shirt underneath if it's a bit warmer out. I didn't do it in the video, but I would also throw on a black turtleneck underneath to keep a nice black silhouette going, if silhouette is even the proper term. To match the brown of the vest, I swapped my leggings for my brown corduroy pants, which I really love. These corduroy pants are from Target, and I'm so happy I got them. They work with so many outfits and I've been loving a mix of 80s and darker 90s outfits lately. For another vest I made, 
I styled it in a similar way as the brown. The only difference is using my black pleated skirt and calf boots, which I find to be super cute and chic. Be wary, I'm not that great at describing style. I'll just be like, oh yeah, it's cute and it looks nice and that's the exact reason why I styled it this way. Another way is by taking out the button up and throwing on my black turtleneck and green pants, which barely fit if I'm being honest, but I'll never be letting them go. And hey, the outfit looks cute, so oh well. The next category is bottoms. There's so many ways I can style my brown maxi skirt, honestly, but we're first going to start with the turtleneck from earlier, adding on a brown corset belt and my leather coat. To bring more color into the outfit, I switched the turtleneck for a green tank top, which makes the outfit feel and look a lot more earthy and relaxing. The green really pops out with the rest of the brown in the outfit, and I think it's incredibly cute. For a more casual fit, I threw on one of my favorite sweaters from Brandy Melville, which made it so much more cozy than before. This is perfect for a nice trip to the bookstore or a slow stroll through town as the leaves fall from the trees. I just wanted to say that the skirt is heavy, however, it's a cozy heavy if that makes sense. This jacket is a separate piece that goes with my ragged priest pants from earlier, and I just love how nicely it pairs with the skirt in this outfit. It's incredibly comfortable and loose and is one of my favorite outfits in this video. I switched the jacket out for my black corset top and my black and white cardigan from earlier, which is one of my favorite ways to style this skirt. I switched out my flat boots to my heeled ones, which brought more chicness to the outfit, but making it look and feel more comfortable with the added cardigan. Now it's time for my green skirt. This one is a lot longer and actually incredibly light and contrary to how it looks. I styled it with my green cardigan and a knit cami top, making an all green earthy fit that I truly love. To add more uniqueness to the outfit, I added this blazer I got from Depop that the seller reconstructed, which I think is just the cutest thing ever. At first, I had wished the sleeves were longer, but I grew into liking the shorter sleeves. For another outfit with the green skirt, I paired it with my frilly button-up for a loose and relaxed outfit, which I also thought was pretty cute. To style my next piece, which is this mini skirt I made in my bottoms video, I paired it with a Henley top I thrifted and my Uggs. I think this outfit is incredibly cute and casual, and for chillier days, I just threw on my Brandy Melville sweater over the Henley, and bam, another cute fall outfit. The last category I have is for my sweaters and cardigans. The first piece is my fall knit cardigan paired with a bandeau top and this beige pleated skirt from Alfred Eden. The last time I wore this, I paired it with my heeled boots, but this time I styled it with my Uggs, which makes the outfit a lot more comfortable. If the bandeau top feels too much or if it's a lot cooler, I can throw on my turtleneck underneath, which is still just as cute, or I can switch out my skirt for my cargo pants and have an even more relaxed and comfortable outfit. For my brown crochet ripped sweater, I paired it with the outfit from before, which makes a really cute look. If I don't feel like wearing a skirt, I could also wear the sweater with my corduroy pants and add a beret on top for added accessorizing. I'm really happy that I made this ripped sweater. It came out way better than I thought it would and I continue to grow to love it each time I wear it. Another piece I made outfits with is my fall crochet cardigan, which was my first ever crochet project. Even though this is a fall cardigan, I still think of more brighter toned colors when making outfits for it, so I paired it with my white button-up blouse from YesStyle, black jeans, and a pair of Converse. It's a lovely, cutesy type of outfit in my opinion. Keeping the same blouse from before and exchanging the black jeans for a pair of overalls, I added a black bandana on my head, and I feel like I made the perfect pumpkin patch outfit. I think this outfit is adorable and perfect for fall, and it's on my list of outfits to wear sometime during the season. Another one of my favorite outfits in this video is this one where I just switched the overalls for my corduroy pants. It feels like an outfit from the 80s or something, and I honestly want to invest in a lot of more corduroy, more pants, more jackets, just because it's one of my favorite materials. I'm not sure if this worked or not, but I also added this mustard yellow checkered vest underneath the cardigan for an added layer, and I think it's kind of cute. What's fall without Coraline, right? With my Coraline sweater and gloves, I paired them with my Urban Outfitters jumper, I thrifted, and a crossbody purse, and I think this is a cute little outfit for small adventures without all the other mother parts, hopefully. Another way I styled it is with this denim pleated skirt and my purple star bag, making the outfit a bit more mature and chic. Plus, I love how the sparkle from the bag and the sweater correlates with each other as well as the colors overall. The next piece is my green mohair sweater. I think it works best with my ragged priest pants and a black turtleneck. Well, 
That's just my go-to outfit whenever I wear this sweater, at least. The mohair in the sweater brings out texture along with the pattern on the pants, which makes the overall outfit very unique. Also, pairing it with my maxi denim skirt makes it an incredibly cozy outfit that's perfect for lounging in a bookstore, cafe, for hours or something. The last piece I have to style in this video is my fall knit sweater I recently made in my last video. The first outfit I made is with the denim pleated skirt again and calf boots that I'm thinking of selling because they're a bit too small for me. I'm going to see if there's similar pairs somewhere online before I sell them though since I love the style. I switched the calf boots for my Uggs and fall leg warmers for this cute little pumpkin patch type outfit and even threw on my beret for extra styling. Switching to a pair of brown knit pants from Ragged Priest, I also added my Uggs and made this incredibly cozy outfit that is perfect perfect for fall. This outfit is seriously so comfortable. Again, sorry for my inability to describe these outfits with any more than a few words, but well, you can see how cute they are, right? The last outfit I have in this video is bringing back my flared leggings and turtleneck for this simple yet cute look that anyone could pull off. It's cozy, it's cute, and like I've said many times before, perfect for fall. While recording the outfits for this video, I've realized that there's so many cool outfits I could make with the pieces I've made and even more than I got to show in this video. I hope these outfits inspired you to style any of your knit and crochet pieces for any season and any occasion, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!